Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Buzzer here. I'm at the Ledbetter Indoor Academy, Bangkok. And today's video is going to be A-swing related, but I'm going to talk about the setup more so than the, the mechanics in the swing. So I, I think the A-swing, a lot of people now know what that is. It's David's new concept. Um, looks a little different to the traditional swing, but actually it's just designed to make it easier to repeat the movement. So some of the movements, especially in the backswing, look a little different. They're actually there to try and make the movement just a little more simpler. So that's the concept behind the A-swing, but you have to actually make a few adjustments in your setup if you're going to give yourself the opportunity to make these other moves subsequently. So the big change is the grip. So in a traditional grip, especially with the top hand, the left hand, we're expecting when you look down to see two knuckles, the, the hand, we would deem that as in, in a neutral position. I'm going to actually ask you to have the club in a far stronger position. So like you'll see I've got my Callaway logo on my glove. I'm going to have that logo pointing more up at the sky than what I would expect in a traditional grip. But this isn't to say I'm trying to strengthen my grip because what I'm going to do with my bottom hand, my right hand, is I'm actually going to feel like it's more on top of the club. So what you would deem that right hand is a more weak position. So what we're creating, and like David refers to it as like a prayer grip, is although this top hand is strong, bottom hand is weak, it actually allows them to end up working together quite nicely, and you end up producing something that is working together in quite a neutral fashion. So again, there's the grip when you're looking at it at first, you might think, hang on a minute, that's going to make me hook it or that's going to make me slice. But like, I've been using this grip in my own game and I've been finding it feels quite comfortable. Let's me get the club up nearer the fingers and across the palm. I mean, a big issue you get in amateur golfers is they get far too into the palm. So I'm finding this grip is actually quite easy to implement and it actually feels quite nice. What it's going to do is it's going to allow you to make these initial movements, these initial A swing movements in the back swing. So with a traditional grip, you'll find it actually hard to make those movements. So you, like I say, the grip, slightly different, but I think it can actually be quite a nice feeling. So if you're somebody that's struggling, especially with the grip, this might be one to try, because you might actually turn out that although it seems a bit strange to start with, it actually feels really nice once you apply it. So grip is the biggest change. In terms of the body, I want you bending from the hips, and that applies across any method that you're trying to apply in the swing. I need you to feel like you're tilting from the hips. What that does is it keeps your upper body in a far better position. I don't like seeing people roll over with the shoulders to allow the club to get down to the ball. But the slight change in the A swing, and again, we're going to aim the face at the target, assuming we've got a neutral ball flight. So face at the target and then get the body parallel to that face. Again, that's exactly what you'd expect in a traditional swing. But what I'm going to ask you to do now is I'm going to ask you to withdraw your right foot and put it back a little bit. What this is doing is quite closing off the feet. So people go, oh, hang on a minute, that's going to affect my swing. But what you've got to remember is the shoulders that are going to have the effect on how the club is moving, not the feet. So if you move the feet and the shoulders, yes, I totally agree, you may cause yourself some issues. But by just doing the feet, what we found, and I've, I've done this for years with senior golfers, David's actually found it's beneficial to pretty much everybody, is if you withdraw that right foot a little bit, it makes it easier to rotate, it makes it easier to make your backswing moves. So it's, a, again, a nice feeling it's quite nice on the body. So providing you keep your shoulders parallel, you're going to have no issues. Hopefully you're going to feel like the swing is feeling nicer. So that is, again, that's a slight variation, but it's, it's more of a thing that you can probably apply in any, any golf swing. Like I say, I've been applying it with seniors uh, since I started coaching for, for those very same reasons. So we've got the grip change, which is very functional, it has to happen. The foot movement is just going to make your swing feel a little nicer. 
going to feel a bit nicer on the body. With the ball position, what I want you to feel is with the driver, you're going to feel it nearer the front. Mid irons, we're going to feel nearer the middle, and like the long irons, nearer the middle. And then with the wedges, we're going to feel like we're a little further back. What it's going to do is give us clear differences for what we're trying to do. So with the driver, we're trying to sweep more. With the wedge, we're trying to just hit down a little bit more. And with the other irons, we tend to be in between. It means that you don't have to physically try and pull down. So what we're doing with this setup is by altering the ball position slightly, is you don't feel like you have to, with a wedge, for example, feel like you're pulling down. Because that tends to make you come down too much. And it makes it very hard to control the face. So what we're doing is altering the ball position so the swing can change slightly in delivery, but it can actually feel pretty much the same. So again, it's a, it's a setup that I'm expecting most people to be able to do. It's not that different from a traditional one, but there are those couple of tweaks that you're going to need if you're going to try and apply the A-swing into your game. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this video has helped. Uh, get some comments down below. Are you somebody that's been using the A-swing? Uh, I'd like to hear how you've been finding it. I hope to catch you soon.